Hello everyone, today I'm going to do something that I have not done on this channel before that is to colour children's colouring book using my own style This is called the ultimate colouring book for children that I bought it from a local stationery store and it says it contains over 70 pages for the colouring and let's take a look inside to see what's interesting The first few exercises can be quite uh, straightforward uh, the children can actually copy the colours based on the image it provided. It looks quite fun as a pastime. I feel this is a good colouring book because it looks quite close to the original characteristics. And there are some empty spaces for prompt drawings. Wow, look at all these styles. It is great to train your patience and perseverance. Guys, I like this, okay? They even fill up the pages of the backgrounds with colours so that you can only focus on the character's colouring. And what's best is they have this dotted line for you to cut so that you can, you know, remove it and piece it on the wall or put it inside the frame. This is really mind-blowing. From the weightage of the lines, it really tells a lot of stories about this illustration. Because our eyes perceive in a way that the further the objects are, the fainter the lines are. And if the object is nearer to our vision, the lines will be thicker and that is why it differentiates between the foreground and the background. And now it's time to get down on some serious work. And yes, I have decided to colour this the Buzz Lightyear uh, from the Pixar movie, The Toy Story. For this colouring, I'll be using Crayola 24 pieces colour pencils. Although there is an image on the top left corner of the page, I wouldn't be following exactly the same and I'll see how far I can push this colouring to. I feel that for this set of colour pencils, there is a layer of wax on the lead itself. I'm not sure is it because this is a new set and it's not yet seasoned and that is why uh, making the layering and blending a tough work. But of course, to be fair, this set is meant for children and it's just for colouring purpose and it's not for any, you know, uh, layering or blending. And I do not want to be too biased about this set. However, I feel that the process of this colouring is quite fun. I tend to find lots of problems along the way and the main uh, focus is to how to solve it using maybe a bit of the techniques. I think I have not mentioned about the paper earlier on. Actually, when I work along the way, I feel that the paper is really very flimsy and it is like about 60 GSM, which is really, really thin to work as a user on uh, color pencils. To be honest, there are also limitations on the color selection while working on this project. And what I'm doing here is to use maybe two to three different colors in order to get that correct color tone. Okay, after a while of trying to fix all these uh, skin tone colours, uh, I like it. At this point, the image on the top left corner helps me to see where is the placement of the colour is. And yes, I enjoy doing all this layering. And there's one thing that I always do when I'm doing any colouring project. That is to listen to music. Put on your headset, put on your earpiece. Get your emotion going, get your blood flowing and to get yourself into a nice chilled frame of mind. It is always good to have an idea of where your light source is. Even if you don't have any idea about lighting, you can elevate your colouring skill by just adding some shadows. Forget about accuracy and you just need to be consistent in your colouring. So I hope that you enjoyed the rest of this video.